Good evening, I'm Holden Absher. A diver on Sunday found the body of a two-year-old girl reported missing after her father was pulled from his partially submerged truck in the White River. The Bartholomew County Sheriff says her body was discovered more than two miles from where her father was rescued Friday. The father, 39-year-old Jeremy Sweet of Columbus, told authorities he wasn't certain what led to his truck entering the river. Several dozen Hoosiers rallied at the State House today as lawmakers were supposed to come in for a session on COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Republican leaders say they will revisit the issue in January, but some people say that is not soon enough. Their job is to listen to what their constituents are saying and act upon that. Their, their responsibility is not to the business. Most of the people who testified in favor of the legislation are health care workers. They wouldn't likely be helped by any bill the state passes since it would be overruled by federal policy. Indiana football fired offensive coordinator Nick Sheridan Sunday. The move by head coach Tom Allen came one day after the Hoosiers ended the season with a 44-7 loss at Purdue. Indiana finished the season 2-10 and overall and 0-9 and in the Big Ten. To free up money for a new coordinator, Allen restructured his contract to decrease his annual salary by $200,000 from 2022 to 2025. Now for a look at the weather tonight, mostly cloudy with a low of 35 degrees. Moving into the five-day forecast, sun on Tuesday, a chance of rain on Wednesday, and temperatures back up into the 60s on Thursday and Friday. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6 p.m. Have a good night.